Hey everyone, welcome to another day at the Crater of Diamonds. Walking through the gate. Today we're going to do some surface hunting. It rained all morning. It wasn't a heavy rain. The gravel probably didn't build up like, he, like we need it to to get the diamonds to fall. Pretty much like gold. The diamonds are heavier than all this other stuff besides the garnet. So if you see garnets in your centers, yeah, that's a good indicator. So we're gonna do some surface hunting. So let's get to it. As you can see, not much rain. It takes a lot of rain and hard rain to get this dirt to move, get the gravel to wash out. Big muddy mess. And the way they got that dozer and has everything chunked up, it's gonna take until they can get the plow again. But here's some nice gravel trails. They're not that great, but see how it's lower? You know, this drops off. That's where your heavy minerals are gonna fall. You follow these gravel trails. This is Fugit's Bank. Well known for diamonds. I've found at least eight of my diamonds on this, just below the boot wash. You can see all the gravel. And when it really rains, it, it builds up in these low spots. That's what you're gonna wanna scoop up. Scrape the lamprite underneath. And then you got everything. You see how that gravel just builds up in these low spots, and that's where the diamonds fall because they're heavier. And when you're surface hunting, that's a good place. You want to scoop all that up. You can see the water running. Just all this gravel is exposed. perfect day to surface hunt the sun's not out so the diamond's gonna shine and everything else won't this is the east drain right here at Fugit's Bank starts come off the boot wash it's all the east drain This is all lamprite. That's where the diamonds are formed in. This stuff right here, it's real brittle. It's green, it's black and yellow, different colors. But that's what the diamonds are formed in. Here's the Uncle Sam diamond, 40 carat. They say it was broken off. Doesn't really look like it. That's the Uncle Sam. You can pause it and read it if you want. I'll try to hit up all the shovels I see. There are several markers for large diamonds. That's a big chunk of, looks like tough. This is the volcanic ash. Big chunk of it. Here's some conglomerate. Nice chunk of conglomerate. This is really neat if you was to polish it up in a rock tumbler. Looks awesome. Sandstone. More sandstone. Tough. Big chunk of tough. Wow. And right here, I need to come scoop all this up. That's got a diamond in it. Pouring out of there, washing all this gravel. Look at this build up. There's a diamond in this stuff. All down in here. So here's the east drain. Let's go on down and take a look at this shovel. Well worth the walk. Just to come look at this next shovel is worth the visit. Probably the perfect, the most perfect 
Arkansas diamond ever found and almost probably the perfect diamond ever found in the world is this next shovel. Okay, almost made it. This is the straw Wagner. Shirley Strawn. I'll let you guys take a look at it. This same diamond is on the quarter, the Arkansas quarter. You can pause it and check it out if you want. And it's on display at the visitor center where you pay to get in at the Crater of Diamonds. So, yeah, this is the East Drain. Get a free lesson how to find diamonds. Okay, well, this is pretty much the tour of the East Drain. I have found several diamonds right in this spot where those people are up ahead. See how nasty this stuff is. It's gonna take a long time to get this to wash. So if you travel on past the shovels, you got some gravel buildup on these inside bins. And it's just like gold. The diamonds are gonna fall on the inside. See all that gravel. I got my 11 point fancy yellow over here. And a couple days before that, I found a half carat. 53 point white real nice facet on the top jewelry type it was perfect I mean, it wasn't a perfect diamond but it was perfect for a jewelry setting it had some inclusions and carbon internally and it was still a pretty diamond and it was my first day on my seven day trip i found it on my first flip just right down in this area which is now no longer looks the same used to be a nice smooth uh channel just like up there low spot with all the gravel they took a dozer here and just flattened it all out so give it some a couple years it'll be good that's the east drain let's head on over to the west okay if we was to keep walking down we would have come out where you're looking at and this is now a new trench that was built oh three weeks ago big project at the crater of diamonds they took down six seven feet or so maybe not that much some spots for sure but that's the new trench i'm at the very south end that's the east and that's the west Canary Hill, just straight. That's when you get amethyst. The amethyst vein starts at Canary Hill and goes up that way. You can find amethyst underneath the volcanic tuff. So this is pretty much the middle field. There's not a name for it, it's just the, the center. That's the south wash. Everybody's up there washing their material. And the wash tanks that the park provides 
So that's the new project. Looks like somebody's already dug a few holes. Hmm. Well, good thing they're filled in. All right, moving on. We'll check out the west drain. It doesn't even look like it used to since this project. They took a lot of this material and spread it all across the field. They've had a D7 dozer. And you look out here, you just see all this gravel. Look at all that. Somebody needs to come scoop all this up. What they did, they scraped down and they hit these gravel veins that we dig deep for and it's just exposed. Look at all that. I'm on a service hunt right through here. and I'll see you guys on the west drain. So I've been scoping out this new trench surface hunting. And check out this piece of agate I've just noticed. Look at this. Awesome. That's going to clean up really nice. Nice flat. All right. I'm going to keep on searching. So low, here's a nice low spot. Diamonds could fall into that. And just, they just kind of get caught up like gold. What's this? Quartz. First diamonds. You can pause this and read it if you like. We're almost to the west. Okay, this is considered the pig pen area. It's not really the west drain, but I'm going to take advantage of the water and clean off this agate okay here's the agate cleaned up not a bad piece I would say that's about 10 to 15 bucks at my store all right let's keep searching and on with the tour Yeah, this is all, you know, they have never done this in my years of coming out here. These big chunks like that. That's what the dozer did. They normally just kind of disc it with two little discs. Barely turns up the ground, but this is what it needed was a good rip like this. Just a couple years now, it'll be nice. <laughs> Unless they get 20 inches of rain. Yeah, you can find amethyst up here. Maybe we will see a small piece. Be a fun. It's all lamprite. It's all lamprite. It's all brittle. That's the that's what the diamonds were formed in. Right here, all this stuff. And it produces a diamond. I think it was uh, every nine ton, they got a diamond out of it. Something like that. Anyways, we'll get on up the hill. and So that's the south wash. I'm on Canary Hill, walking to the west drain. 
that's the new trench back behind those trees that's the pig pen canary hill the west drain let's walk on down check it out it used to be a drain they filled they completely filled it in wow oh, that's good i mean so we are now in the west drain if you like conglomerate this is a pretty good spot to find some big chunks i have found some really big all my big pieces come from the west drain Some cages you can rent, keep your equipment stored. They've got them all over the park. Oh, all right. I'm gonna work my way on up to the uh, to the north end of the crater of diamonds. You guys can check out the north. I'll see you up there. Okay, I've made my way up from the end of the west drain and I was walking up and I seen this conglomerate. That's a good one. Once you clean that up, got some reddish tint. That probably would be a, not a rock tumbler one, but it's just neat for the yard flower bed decoration I hate to carry that thing around I'm gonna throw it in the trees over here okay I've made my way up to the almost the top of the west drain that's the north wash station the bigger one and here is the south wash and that's the, the west drain completely filled in I'm gonna head on up to the north end and that'll pretty much be the end of this video okay so straight ahead is the diamond discovery center which where the boot wash and the east drain starts that'd be the north end of the search field that's the north wash that's the middle of the field and there's the west drain all back in that way and when you see a bunch of rocks like this over here, you see all this gravel, there could be a diamond in this stuff, don't get me wrong, but it's probably uh, all the tailings from the North Wash, from them washing it down, and people that have set up here for years washing their gravel up here in these trees for shade, it's washed down. And it just looks like a lot of gravel here, but it could have some good diamonds in it, you know. I'm not going to waste my time over here. All right, let's head on up to the north. So this is the north, there's the spillway that feeds the east drain, and this is the north end. And it's been pretty mined out, there's been a lot of big diamonds found over here. So everybody came over here and completely dug it up, and every now and then it'll spit one out. This is the north end that's the old mine shaft building 
and yeah i just i can't seem to get myself over here there's been some good ones found let's check out this shovel of course a 15 carat you guys can pause this check it out so there are big diamonds found over here like i say it's just uh once in a blue moon a lot of nice gravel build up see how it washed down the road it's all a low spot here and it's all build up look at that gravel nice all the way down that's a good spot to dig is all that all that right there i don't know about all that definitely all this because the diamond is pretty much just going to fall and drop they could be anywhere though any shovel could have a big diamond out here this is all tailings every bit of this is tailings the whole entire diamond mine that we just walked through is tailings now that they did their project they brought up some gravel veins but we've been seeing a lot of uh, modern day trash in the gravel meaning people's already been in it it could have been exposed from the mining days and they just pushed it up there because they've already worked it all right so here here we are back at the east drain we come down the hill like always there's the uncle sam's shovel we seen at the beginning and that's pretty much it there's the north, that's the west, and this is the east. I hope you guys enjoyed what you've seen today. And if you did, I hope to get a subscribe from you. And we will continue here at the Crater of Diamonds on a hole and see if we can't find a big diamond. So don't miss it.